hey kid, I know your mum says don't talk to strangers, but this is important. So take your dummy out because I don't have long and I'm breaking a lot of rules doing this. So eyes on me. How did you, when did you change? Just stay there. You don't need to come any closer. If that's the most comfortable position for you to listen in, then fine. But you don't have to keep changing outfits on my part. I'm not that kind of guest. Something big is heading your way. Fine, you can put your dummy back in if that comforts you. To be honest, several something bigs are coming your way and not the good kind. You still with me? You still listening? Eyes on me? Eyes on me? Okay, I wish we had more time so I could tell you exactly what to be aware of and how to prepare for it, but we've already wasted far too much time with all these outfit changes and I just need you to listen. Your mum tried her very best, but there were things even she didn't see coming. Don't look at me like that. This is already difficult as it is. Not everything you will experience will be character building or make you stronger or tougher. And it starts as early as reception. Good question. It's the year you go into after nursery when you start wearing a uniform because I know how much you like those pinafores. Uniforms are meant to help you blend in, but the way you were made, you were born to stand out. From the naps and coils in your hair to your ballerina toes, from the way you limped and even the way you thought and loved, People will tell you it's wrong, that everything about you is wrong, that you are so wrong you don't even have a right side. Some of those things they will say and do will push you over the edge. You'll think you're floating when in fact you are falling and I just need you right now to make as much noise as you can. Please do not stay silent. You will lose so many years being silent if you don't get used to using your voice now. It will be a minefield when you're an adult. I get that silence can feel calming and quiet from all the chaos but it is far more dangerous when you let that that silence in it starts to eat away at you which is a far worse punishment than you can ever imagine it's worse than when mum hides the remote so you can't watch tv don't get used to making this face because you make this face a lot the wanting to please face the not wanting to make people uncomfortable face the not wanting to take up too much space and time face this is the face you make especially when what you want to say is on the tip of your tongue but you clamp down on it with your teeth caging your thoughts locking up your feelings you learn to hold back so much it becomes instinct and even when you want to need to let people know you are hurting you don't i can't stress this enough say something, say something, say something. Get used to the sound of your own voice. You don't sound as cartoonish as you think. You don't sound as whiny as you think. And you're not as annoying as you think. You know who is actually annoying? These two knuckleheads and the one who took this photo. But you know what they're also good at doing? Is saying something. So when you're older, it won't feel as awkward. It won't feel as terrifying. And your heart won't beat so hard that it boxes the back of your throat. I can't stop what is going to happen to you, but I'm working on it. Haven't quite cracked the formula yet. Understanding space time is tricky. I'm sorry, smiling won't always help. There isn't enough serotonin in the world to help you get through this shit. Mum eases off and lets you swear when you're older, but it won't always feel like this. Smiling won't always feel like you're wearing a mask. There'll be days where you can't help but smile and laugh. So whatever happens, kid, you must hold on to your voice because you're going to need it. And you're going to have to fight with everything you have to keep it. And brush your teeth before bed. Trust me, it's important.